Find the Titan, slay the Titan. Time to shine. Together we shine, sister. Always. Oh Moon, my steady friend through all these nights, I have for you this humble offering. I am grateful for your generosity, though the kinship that we share is more than sufficient and makes the lonely nights seem to soar by. I call upon the moon and draw you down. Little star, you grow in strength and knowledge rapidly. How proud your headmistress must be that you are able to surpass her finally. Yet we know the burden that you bear. Which suits you? My greatest strength is yours. Was it? Seems like an awful big coincidence. But then with gods, these things, they happen all the time. I'll say I'm glad she found you when she did. Sure. Shade needs you, Freenos. Be at peace. 
going. This goes. Birdie told me you'd gone far down in those depths, even to some success. I'll be excited to hear all the juicy bits. With her goes the princess, so shall I. Yeah. <laughs> 
My chaos spoon just then. Here. This reminds me of the time I met your brother when he was searching for your mum. I had a vested interest in the outcome, sure. But before I knew it, I really started to care. We'll find a way to help them, won't we, Em? Painted gold. <laughs> you know the gods did this to me, don't you? Although I shouldn't say the gods it was truly just the one. But the others, they didn't care. They were complicit in the whole thing. It was as though I was a spider to them all along. Arachne, the gods could be kinder to mortals. You'll hear no argument from me on that. I have a certain point of view on it myself. Most mortals I've met, they've all been dead. Yet you abide Olympus anyhow. I understand, I do. They're family. And that's one thing we can never change. Not really. Although the Titan whom you're up against, isn't he family too? <laughs> May Moonlight guide you. Oh, you. Come back soon. Blast. <laughs> 
and services as though Kronos has already prevailed. Surely is beginning to wonder how you are able to thwart him. Do leave him in the dark. The less he knows of us, the better. Chrono seems to think my family bond with him is why I'm able to resist. He hasn't made the connection that you're the one who's prepared me. You have prepared yourself. It is good that you are drawing his attention and his wrath whilst I remain unseen. I slowly undermine his strength. And through our efforts, buy your mountain relatives more time. mend your wounds, and neither shall your enemies. Yes. There. Something nearby. The honors, please, Freenos. See you in the crossroads.
Kronos. You. The goddess of the hearth has blessed you now. There is no flame which time cannot extinguish soon enough. The rim of Oceanus. A little pain is all. Chaos, I heard your call. This flower. You speak to me of nightmares. Here is one. He's trying to slow me down. There's the rift.
need something else. Now that's a sea serpent. for my little sis. She, of all goddesses, has to put up with the most around here. And that's not even counting all this Chrono stuff. How do you manage it, oh queen? I manage it one evening at a time, Miss how, sister. Perhaps we shall have to burn the old world down and start anew. But I can think of none more suited, should the need arise. Getting warmer. See you in the crossroads. Come <laughs> on. 
long was I out? Ah, oh, Frenos. Perhaps I ought know better than to tamper with the Oath of the Unseen. <laughs> I rise again. You know, it, it's kind of spooky how you never come in through the front flap anymore. Ever think of taking a ponting yourself? Oh yes, I figure if none of this works out, a lot of us can wander the earth, striking fear into the hearts of any mortals who dare look upon us. <gasps> now we're talking. You've such disdain for what we're trying to achieve. You act as though nothing was lost. Don't you want to see Nyx again? Or Thanatos? Don't I want to see my mother again, or brother number I have no idea? <laughs> no. They were even more stuck up than you. No offense. How can you say such things about your relatives? Were they crueler to you than this? Nyx always wanted things her way. Why should she, or anybody, have that kind of power over me? Because she made me? She didn't ask my permission, and I don't need hers. I'm sorry. May Moonlight guide us. Huh? <laughs> Together we shine. The shades about this place are all abuzz in their support of you, you know. You have a gift for leaving an impression on them, and for compelling more of them to join with us. They were just people once, or other living beings. All they ever needed was something to believe in, in death as well as life. And a way out of Erebus. Mm, well, they're sworn to you, that much is clear to me. I'd purge them all if I had any doubt. Perhaps they think they'll find a cushy spot within Elysium once all is said and done. I think it's more than that. The Kokaitis teems with life there by the riverbank again, Headmistress. Would you please join me for a look? Ah, oh, very well, why not? I suppose I could use a little walk, and we could use the fish. T'was not very long ago that you never would have permitted yourself this type of excursion, nor had the metal to request that I accompany you. Headmistress, you're right. I could be hunting for our enemy this very moment. And you, you've so many responsibilities, yet I'm wasting your time. This was a mistake. Hold, lest you frighten the river denizens. Only then should my time be wasted here, Melanoi. You mistook the meaning of my words. Your capacity to still your racing mind is not a detriment. It is a growing strength. I'm surprised you see it that way. Sometimes I feel I'm losing my focus. Why else would I have brought us here? Perhaps you reasoned that we each need occupy our minds with other matters for a little while. And we are failing at it by continuing to speak. Let us be still together and direct our focus on the waters there. I much prefer to use a spear myself. Be still. Caught. 
The river always provides, and let no such task ever be beneath us. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. So then, were you ever certain you had finally met your doom? Or did you truly think there was always a plan of escape to be discovered, no matter how dire the circumstance? Well, to be quite frank with you, Moros, may we be informal thus? I had the hardest time untangling myself not from near-fatal situations, but the arms of certain goddesses. My greatest weakness, looking back. Ah, indeed. But how is this a weakness? As I understand, your wife Penelope stood by your side despite your indiscretions. I trust I do not overstep. I know this can be a sensitive topic with those from the surface. I, Penelope, stood by my side because I only told her so much about my indiscretions, as you call them. Then, when we reunited after death, I had to tell her the rest. She had spent her best years awaiting an unfaithful man. I see. After everything you'd been through, did your relationship end in an amicable way, at least? I, surprisingly enough, did. As promised. Good evening, Broker. Should be of use. Take care, then. Full grown. Sprang up so fast. How's the soil? Good? Grow strong. Six. All right. Strength. Let me see. So that's it. I've reached my limit. I see it now. So that's it. This potential. I see.
this I vow. Once more, then. It's rather heavy still. back. I guess neither were you. Always struck me as a gloomy sort. Though he did seem to care a lot about his own. He'll get his justice yet. You are as fresh as rain this eve, gorgeous. Paid a recent visit to the springs, hmm? There's nothing like a good hot bath, especially when in good company. My heart. I'm ready.
solitude. Felt that for sure. Come on up. Flying to and fro. Some new cocoons there. How fares the big witch, by the by, my friend? I often see her in these woods, and every now and then she says hello. Makes time for little old Arachne. How ungodlike of her. <laughs> Headmistress seems as steady as can be. It's strange. Her confidence in my ability is one of the greatest sources of pressure that I feel. Although, I can't exactly tell her that. And why ever not? I'd always want to hear the honest truth from you. She's a smart one, no? Likely she knows that something's off. You ought to have a little chat. <laughs> Now you enjoy, all right? Death to Kronos. Be well, won't you? <laughs> Go, Freenos. <laughs> you saved them. <laughs> Weave on. Shielded up. Salutations. Welcome. You wear one of those silken dresses, always with a vivid hue. I know whose handiwork they are. This one quite suits you, though it is unlikely to withstand the heat. Just have to avoid it. Crossed flames.
good find. Which keepsake now? Down I go. At least my feet are clean. Disposition, I have something of a vengeful street cousin, though I know actions speak louder than words. Well, here we go. Stay focused on the task at hand. Lotus. when he used to rule and mortals had to care in the world. Caring's not such a bad thing, I think.
simple prey. The other night, given the opportunity, you sided with my kin, foregoing my boon when I first generously offered it. Whilst that little scuffle is behind us, I do not appreciate any such slights. I trust I've made myself quite clear. Bond renewed into chaos. Hail, almighty chaos.
guessing about that. The siren's ready, room. in once again. Her grace. That should have done it. I've returned. I have to go now. Echo, I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you, to talk to you, to talk to you. I was able to assist Narcissus with a certain plight, and you seem to have let go of him yourself. But as for you, the way you are, I sense that you don't ever want to change. We each are cursed with our experiences. 
I am nothing without mine. Thank you for reflecting my thoughts and sharing your feelings, Echo. But are you all right to remain here? All right to remain here. All right to remain here. All right to remain. Take care now. Take care. This must be love. Till next we meet. Till next we meet. Flourish and reveal my path. for what's mine. Fine work as always. Should be able to get out, I think. We cannot always reach you in those depths, though your boatman seems to have no trouble at all. Keeps to himself, fends for himself. I quite like him. I know you require only gold, my lord. Nevertheless, I wanted to give you something more. I've always found your commitment to the realm and to your discipline inspiring. You'll soon feel better again, Cerberus.
princess returns terrifying Cerberus to his senses and familiar form. You're looking better already. I can use this. Almost there. So much dust. This should help. Unseen. I'm in. Should be a clear path to the house. Why must everybody in our family be such an irritant? I'm not finished with you. No traitor to the house shall go unpunished. Chaos seeks me. Chaos, I heard your call. of hell makes plain he wishes not to be disturbed. Moonlight guide us. Not here, it won't. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Cerberus, take care of him, okay? You wretches.
Kronos find these things? In the name of Hades. Set. Go show that shade the way. Rest easy now. Is more. Hmm. My boon from chaos came alive. No traitor to the house shall go unpunished. Be on your best behavior now, gorgeous, for I present to you our most resplendent queen. No stranger to the ways of war or to extinguishing the wretchedness that festers in the hearts of the wicked. Behold, our Lady Hera. for such pomp, Aphrodite. But then, more goddesses ought better understand the need to keep appearances, even in troubled times. Especially in troubled times. Hear me on my authority.
May I? Salutations. Kronos! <gasps> Do not presume to test my patience here. I recognize that blade you bear. The scythe of death himself. Alas, that he was momentarily without it when I caught him in my snare, along with this house's other former residents. You may have taken death, yet death is here for you. It would be fitting if you met your end by Zorafet. It would be most unlikely, I should think. Then let us match now, scythe to scythe, your Zorafet against my Hrodroptus, and we shall imminently see who reaps and who sows. Let's begin. There is no escape. in armor.
subjects now. Zodiac sand. Impossible. Such power. Of all great feats achieved by mortals or by gods, the nightmare bringing princess would achieve perhaps the greatest of them all. It's just, I cannot tell you of it yet. You! Return to Shadow now. Not a bad night, I guess. Can you believe it, little one? I did it. I got him. What now? It took you long enough. What would you do if you had the tent all to yourself anyway, Dora? You could invite all the other shades and absolutely trash the place, I suppose. What, you mean share it? No, not sharing the tent is the entire point. A proper haunting has a one-to-one -one ratio between the haunted and the haunty. Even I haven't forgotten the basics. I can't imagine all you want to do is float around in here, minus the part where we get to speak. Then you simply lack imagination, friend. <sighs> If you're not busy, up for a little visit with me to the riverside? I've got a twin lure we could use right here. I don't know that I'll be doing you much good between my inability to use a rod of fishing and my inability to keep quiet, but hey, you asked for it. Ah, this is gonna be so fun. Seems like an awful lot of trouble for some weird fish. Any time now?
Sessions over. Ha, you tricked a fish. Victory is mine. Well, that definitely was a thing that happened. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you for waiting. One step closer. Headmistress, there must be something we can do for Arachne. Her curse torments her. What use is our craft if we cannot ease a friend's suffering? Arachne's fate is not yours to undo. It's a matter between her and Athena. I suggest you leave it well alone. How did you know it was between her and Athena? I do not care for your insinuations, Milenoi. Moonlight guides you. Moonlight guide us all. Fine work there. If you run into anything bad whilst you're out there, you come talk to me about it. Chances are I've seen it, fought it, otherwise gotten past it, and can offer some advice. Definitely. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, about Narcissus. I won't undo the curse you put on him, even if I could. He seems to be rather content, and besides, I can tell you truly believe he deserved it. Only problem is, that curse did nothing to aid Echo in her plight. Echo. That was the nymph who put Narcissus on my list of things to do. You're telling me getting divine retribution with no strings attached wasn't enough to put her mind at peace? Correct. You even the score between them, though you didn't set things right for either one. They had to set things right for themselves. With your help and encouragement, I guess. Uh, same difference to me, long as neither one ends up much better off. Sounds like you lectured both of them, so I'm sure it's close. So you don't care how they end up, as long as they're even? you're catching on. May Moonlight guide you. Hmm. <laughs> I've needed that. <laughs> Lord Charon's gold rewards. <laughs> you're welcome here and safe. All grown up. Ah, that's a nice touch. Oh, what have we there? Take all the time you need. Rest easy, son of Nyx. Our numbers grow, and destiny does our strength. What would night have me do? That fear may spread. my birthright.
will of night. I swear it, Nick. Everything's in order. Sort of ease. 